Hello everyone, this is Kakur Bennett. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Expression Web to create the following elements. We shall learn how to create a form. We shall learn how to create a horizontal line and how to create a marquee in your web page. So we are going to design one page and have those three elements and at least a background color. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos of this kind. So from here you can create a folder and this folder we shall save our work in there. I can call it web, web design. Then that is our folder. So we click start or programs, click expression, Microsoft expression, then Microsoft expression web. So when this program uh, opens, we are going to learn how to create a horizontal line, to create a form, and to create a marquee. So when this page opens, uh, generally this is our page. So we shall go to, we are going to create our page. So from here we click file and then we come to new, continue and click page. So when this dialog box happens, you come and click website, then from there click one page website and then you browse where you will save your website. Remember my folder is on the desktop, so browse. Click on the desktop here. This side, look for your folder. My folder is called Web Design. Double click. And the name of the folder is the name of my website. So I click Open. And then I click OK. So from here, I'm going to rename this. I rename it as Home Page. Dot htm home page dot htm and so I press enter I click yes then I double click there for the page to open so from here I'm going to teach you how to create a horizontal line a form and a marquee so from here I will have my my page title I can center it and I say my heading is online registration. I can say how to make online forms. That is my heading. I can highlight it, bold it, come to size, increase it. You can come to color. You give it a certain color of your choice. Say that, and so after giving that color, I press enter. Now I'm going to use a horizontal line. That is a horizontal line. So I come and put it around there. That is the horizontal line. So this horizontal line, you can now optimize it. You come to, you click on it, right click, horizontal line properties. So from here, width, I can reduce it to around 90. That is both left and right, so that it is almost in the center. Height, I can make it thick. And then I can make it have a solid color. I come and choose a certain color that I want it to have. I click OK. So from there, I'm going to teach you how to create a form. So for more information, here are some notes how to insert a horizontal line. So you read about this, when you are playing a video, you can pause. So from there, I'm going to teach you how to create a marquee. So with a marquee, uh, I can say, I can have a small marquee here. Now to create a marquee in web expression web, in expression web, there are two, there are three options here, design, split, and code. So I will click on code. 
And so, when you look at this code very well, this is where I wrote my title, and then that is space. So, from here I can come around here, I open the tag and say, Maqui, I close that tag. So, in between here, I will say, enjoy the online form application. That is my Maqui. So, after writing this word, it starts with Maqui and then it ends with this tag. So this is the closing tag, hash, I mean, uh, backslash, maqui. So that is my maqui, I come back to design. And so what you see here is my, this is my maqui. So you can adjust it, maybe font color, you can put it to black, and anything you want to adjust size, etc be that kind of size so here I'm going to create what we call a form so I can center my content I can put my form in form of a table so that it is more attractive for example this form here so in case you want to get procedures the procedures are here on how you can create your maqui okay so I want us to go together and create this kind of form around here. So from this form, I'm going to go to table, insert table, so that I can create one row and one column. I put it within the center, and thereafter I click OK. So this table, you can Go to table properties and modify. So here, let it be in the center with uh, with this uh, sixty. That is in percentages, and so this is the table in my percent. So here, I'm going to create this form. So after doing that, within this, maybe this is big. Go back to table properties and choose 50 and from there I can have a background color maybe I choose lime and I click OK so in here I'm going to have my form like that so within here you can center the content you can even bold and have a heading as online registration Form. I press enter so here I can have a horizontal line also I drag and drop there so this horizontal line you can adjust it I can change color to around that I reduce its size I click OK then from there I will press enter that is the one we are presenting and then we can have these small items. So these are called form controls. So with these form controls, we are now going to have a star. You write name. This we can increase font size so that we have around 18 or 24. So if I write name and I put colons, in front, I'm going to pick what we call an input box. So, all these are form controls. These are form controls. We shall see what each stands for. So, from these form controls, basically, we need an input text. So, drag it and put it there. You can bring it in front of name can even expand it a bit so this is for name below we press enter and put email press enter star email 
can highlight change font size we had used 24 put colons and then put another one drag it put it there can also click on it and expand font size I mean uh, resize it press enter we also need these ones gender male female these are called radio buttons these are input text boxes or call it a text box so here we have gender you can also increase font size so that under gender you will have what we call a radio button and you put one there drag it up there male then bring another one in front put female so that you can also change size so that it is of the same size so those are called radio buttons press enter here we have this one hobbies and those are what we call check boxes so i can write hobbies put colons and so it is arranged in this format put a check box reading so a check box is here drag it there and so after dragging it there you say reading then bring another checkbox, put it there, put it around there. You say swimming, yes, right, swimming. You press enter, bring another checkbox around there. So in the front, say dancing. So you can highlight and put the same font size. Yes, so these are input boxes, these are radio buttons, these are check boxes. So next on our instruction we have, I mean on our form, we have these buttons. Sending and clear button. So here we can have what we call this submit button bring that button there you can put it around there this you can right click and you edit it or just double click so when you double click here submit name value so here this you can change this and say send it is for submitting click ok that is it bring another ready to bring another button for sending but for this time we are going to use the one for reset or clear so put one there put it there so in the middle here click click within there you press space so that you can separate them double click and right here the word clear is for resetting click ok and so after doing this we can have also another uh, of this side horizontal line put it there and so that marks the end of our command i mean of our form so that is our form where articulated so now from here, you can even have a background color of your form. I can right click, I go to page properties. Then here, title of my page, home page. And then here formatting, I can have a background color. Maybe if I choose this, something like that as a background color. If it is not attractive, change. Formatting, you can change color. So something like that and so 
I save changes. And so after this, I can close. And then I preview my website here. You see this folder, how it looks like? So when I open inside, inside I open that page. I use a browser. So for this case, I can use something like that. So that I can view my website. So once it has opened, it is like that. This is the heading, horizontal line, Maqui, and the form. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Goodbye.